<laughs> you know, I, uh, while listening to a little bit to the, my last video, just to make sure that, uh, the, the quality and the audio and video were in sync, I, I got the strangest sensation that I have, I've had this, like, bored feeling before while playing, while doing a Let's Play, and uh, it actually stems from Liberal Crime Squad. During many of those videos at the end, I had this sort of attitude. Uh, perhaps uh, things are more interesting for me when I am losing as opposed to when I'm winning. Although, I mean, you learn either way, but in losing, you will learn more. Also, I am learning that uh, my 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 cognitive abilities are going down the fucking drain. They're going into the shitter because uhs and ums and errs, they're just gonna keep going. And none of you have really expressed a problem with this before. I holy shit. I holy shit, yes. We're just gonna build one of those. Because we can then build more research centers because it'll be quicker. This planet is a great planet. Lots of stuff to uh terraform to really make this a high-quality planet. It's a good thing I took that from the Altarians. They don't deserve anything like that. Fuck those assets. I reckon I could build um, more capture thingy transports to speed this process along. Eventually those planets would flip to me though. Unless he surrenders to the Dominion of Core. In which case, I'll shoot him in the face. He can do that. You know, and actually, you know, if he wants to do that, that would end the war. And I believe I would still be secure in domination of the galaxy. So, if he wanted to go through with that, I could let it go. I could be the big man. I'm already a big man. I am the awesome man. So, hey, I mean, more power to him. That, I'm not even sure that made sense. <laughs> it's like I'm just grinding through uh, National Guard soldiers and fading my base. Oops! <laughs> so, two freighters? Yep, two, uh, two extra freighters. Damn. Guard this area! Serious business. You never know who may invade. Oversee the, uh, the trade line. Who knows? War has been declared. I'm still getting constructors because of focus on military construction. Even though my military spending's jack shit. Which means I still have more ships to ferry out and manage and oversee and control. It's very sad. Just gonna go ahead shoot these things. Why not? It's fun. That's why I shoot. Because it's fun. Continue to... improve. You never know what needs improving in the galaxy, and I don't want to be accused of being too lazy not to do anything. You know, I had that problem whenever I played Alien Crossfire. I didn't try until the very end. Well, I mean, I was trying, but I didn't really, really, really try, and that's clearly why I lost the game. If I actually put forth the effort, it would have been awesome. That's my excuse. As long as you don't put forth your full effort, if you lose, then it's okay. Is that a unclaimed resource up there? I think it was. Ooh, I want it. Um... Let's finish Cambium, because we can. We may need more, better, awesome sauce armor. Pew pew! Pew pew! You don't understand, Draft Legion. I am never going away. I am never going away. Ever. <laughs> Ever. You guys don't get it, do you? I'm never leaving you. Never gonna give you up, let you down. You know the rest. It's not happening. 
trust me. Damn. You. That. <laughs> Go. I... The, the game's even been lazy about claiming, well, to be fair, I am so awesome that... Yay! Another technological capital! Yay, gravity accelerators! Yay, another planet! Hot pa... I'll just say hot pocket, and then kind of morph that into hot planet, and then... Uh... What, what, what is that? A manufacturing... You... Slave pits make me so sad. They, they, they make me cry at night. Stop that. Stop enslaving people. It's not right. It's not natural. Don't do it. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. Should I relive it, li revive a battle for old times sakes? No. Not doing it. Stupid draft raider. I hate you. I hope you die. Cancer. Nope. No. No. Sorry. Sorry I overstepped the line there. Did not mean to do that. I apologize if I offended everyone. I I have had family members who've succumbed to that. Naturally, this not does not qualify me for you know slant. Ah, fuck it. It whatever. You you either make fun of it and you laugh or you die. Okay. Words only hurt if you let them. Remember these words. I, I've lived over four thousand years. I still get tired. So hey. Things happen, okay, children? Things happen. You just gotta let it go. Move on. Fear the Reaper. <laughs> I miss my space miner. He he gave himself up gloriously. That that fucking A team, they got they got their revenge on me. Yes, yes. I'm aware. Guard. And I'm just going to stop sending out my constructors. I'm just going to stop. Yay! No longer necessary. News of the destruction of the Draft Legion spreads quickly through the galaxy. They... Oh. The Dominion of Core picked up a ship. One picked up Shadlingas. Another one to the Dominion of Core. Appears they surrendered me. You have defeated us. Our military is destroyed. Our population is in panic. You have won. We surrender. Thank you, Embridge Draken. Good move on your part. Just like what the Altarians did. Very intelligent. I uh, cannot. We have 88% of the overall galactic influence. Oops. What does that qualify us for? You will achieve an influence victory in 10 weeks. I can't even wait. You have no idea. I'm just going to blaze through these. I, I'm not even going to send out my fleets. I'm just going to move the crabs to camp somewhere. And I'm just going to go from there. I, I don't even care about these new planets I captured. Governors can care. I'm going to take a nap. In the event a random event occurs which totally blows the galaxy out of proportion. Like the damn fundamentalists. I will shoot somebody. That would make the game more interesting, me shooting somebody, but still. Murder. Espionage. <sighs> Where are the Darlocks when I need them? Damn. I need to channel my inner master, Brian. This is ridiculous. Sir. Yes. Become the culture overlord. I'm sorry, by the way. Just gonna apologize to you guys. Uh, influence victory. I mean, eh. it's if you do it right and you get the good planets like Earth, absolutely skyrocketed my influence. So when that happens, you can pretty much steamroll yourself into the victory, so long as you know do things like capture important planets to break strongholds of enemy influence. Uh, I was not foreseeing that happening. When I when I was playing this game some more, I was thinking, 
Could be a diplomatic... Yay. Could be a diplomatic victory. Uh, probably not a technological one, because that takes so damn long to do. I, I didn't know uh, if I would really get out of my corner, though. I uh, apparently underestimated my abilities and overestimated the AI's ability to defend its damn capital. And some of the opponents I encountered along the way had very, very weak uh, soldiering tech. If I had attempted to engage these guys uh, through, like, um, skirmishes and ship-to-ship -ship combat over a prolonged, protracted period with the limited resources I had in the beginning, like against the Iconians and against the Terrans, uh-uh, I don't think so. And if uh, you guys recall, my most difficult battle was against the Terran Alliance. I, the, I was like, I remember having mini crabs and shit and constantly dancing around because I didn't have enough firepower to bring to bear at the time. But once I had that, and I could gather my refor my forces and just steamroll into Altaria, she declared war on me, it's not my fault. And then do a brief stint in Toria, then go up to the A-Team, and then the Draft Legion, who had conquered the middle of the galaxy, I mean, what the hell. Excellent. <laughs> we'll probably end up regifting it. Ouch. No, I won't. I'm not that stupid. Free money is free money. Come on. Sweet. I'm continuing to research and pad my score. He's continuing to declare war, as he should. I mean, he's got a little, you know, outlet here into free space. Other than that, though. Yeah. Let's take a look here at graphs. Four weeks? Oh my god. So, which planets actually earn me money? Those. Damn. Approval rating? 100% on all of them. Class, our highest class planet is Iversonia. Oh, bye. The, the main, the AT main planet? That's pretty good. It still has two more slots. No, it has two open slots. Shit. I, whatever. <laughs> I'm not even, not even gonna mess with it. Damn. How 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 could you guys screw up that beautiful planet? Seriously. How could you guys treat this planet wrong? You you guys suck. Timeline. Oh man. Once upon a time. Especially with military. Jeez. Population. I used to be so far down. Research. Crashing. Manufacturing. Social product. That, that was during the crash when I, I was broke. And played with my sliders. Approval has always been great. Popularity. Nah. Diplomacy. Treasury and Ascension naturally have been jack shit. Diplomacy. Yeah, we were we, we ended up being the leaders once we killed the Terrans. Good times. The biomechanical Cybrixians are newcomers to our galaxy. Rumors suggest their ancient leader, Cybrix, desires total galactic domination. True story. So these are the list of all the bonuses we have. We've collected quite a few. Persistent trait. <laughs> I wow. I, I don't even know. Diplomacy rating is 144 percent. Our morale is 190 percent. Hell's yes, children. Government ethics. We. I never flipped out of imperial government. At the time, I was too worried about uh, the morale penalty I would take from changing government. Because you can. I actually didn't even end up researching. And his technologies. I guess I'll explain that uh, later on in the game. If you follow down the chart to unlock different uh, governments, you can get economic bonuses. The exchange of uh, losing uh, control over your civilization, because the people will have more and more freedom. They can actually vote in the Senate. You may end up losing control of the Senate, and then you'll end up taking penalties because you suck as a leader. And it, it's rather fitting, though, that I continue to just control the galaxy. That's uh, certainly fitting Lord Cybrix. 
most fitting of Lord Cybrix. Anyway, we were coming up again. I think it's gonna cue a video, which is gonna lag this thing to hell. If that distorts audio and video, I I'm I'm just gonna cry myself to sleep. I reckon. Are we done yet? We gotta be done yet. That's like. There we go. Hells yeah. Fuck it. I can let you guys enjoy this shit in peace. I want to enjoy it too. I earned this son of a bitch, okay? Lord Cybrix is also a conqueror. But his primary focus is spreading the joy of biomechanic disease across the galaxy. Don't judge me. Ah, la 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 la. It's Japan! <laughs> Victory! We have conquered the galaxy. The Cybrixian Imperium won not with weapons. <coughs> Bullshit! <laughs> but we write the history books, but with ideas. Over the centuries, our foods, clothing, and philosophies have won the battle of ideas. While we do not formally control the galaxy in any sort of legal or military sense, <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> no one can ever conceive of a day when the galaxy would even consider not bending to our will. The galaxy looks to us for their progress into the future. Without our entertainment and our latest fashions and our restaurants and vacation resorts, their lives would to them seem empty and pointless. We have won a cultural victory, all praise Cybrix. Now, yeah, I could have sent my units and I could have mopped up the Drangan and I could have mopped up the core. We saw what military units they are capable of feeling. When was the last time I lost a crap? When I was fighting the Terran Alliance? <laughs> Did I lose a crab while fighting the Altarians? I don't remember. Did I? Yeah. Alrighty, so my score. I'm not. Alright, oh, I gotta scroll. <laughs> I was like, why am I not here? I don't get it. Uh, yeah. I'm awesome. Hey, look at technology here. I have researched 65 techs, far exceeding what anybody else achieved. The biggest guy was Toria and Kor. Most time intensive tech was good and evil because I switch changed my sliders there. Nestor won. Oh, that seems very weird. <laughs> tech stolen, I stole a total of 9 techs through my conquests. Excellent. Moving on. Enemy ships destroyed. 146. True, the A-Team did destroy more. Actually, many people destroyed more, but, uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. Most powerful ship, King Crab. I only lost 18 ships. <laughs> Big deal. Woohoo! I lost 33 billion soldiers. Not that many in the grand scheme of things, I don't think. Especially since other people lost more. And I did a hell of a lot of invading. As you all witnessed. Economy. Average monthly income was 416 billion credits. Average tax rate was 50%. Some people had higher and they still learned jack shit. What does that tell you? I'm awesome. My most profitable month was somewhere in there. Socially, uh, my most populous plant, yeah. My average approval rating was 99%. Go ahead and try to invade me and use those information tactics and see how well that succeeds. Most influential planet was Earth. That was not the Terran Alliance's most influential... What? What? Alrighty. That uh, takes care of this. Now I can actually get on with uninstalling this game. It's been taking up precious hard drives, but no, not really. Um, next time, uh, I will work on... Uh, my next recordings will be working on finishing Daggerfall. I have a long way to go with Daggerfall. Oh, God. I'm... Since I uh, cleared my slate off to just one LP again... I may start up something new, and uh, probably won't end up finishing it until June or July. So uh, you children can look forward to that. Hopefully it'll be a fucking game I actually want to play. 
And, you know, hopefully it'll be an older game that I, I know what it is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I have an idea, and it won't take up that much hard drive space, so I can just keep recording and keep recording and keep recording, and it won't take up 9.7 gigabytes like this video file is right at this moment. It's bullshit. <laughs> anyway, thanks, thank you all for joining and sticking with me since May. I'm sure I lost some of you along the way, but there are many more yet to be gained. Yes, the future is dark and gloomy, as it should be with the upcoming of Grimness. But, uh, fear not, children. For as long as you are under Father Grimm's dear protection, uh, you will suffer less than everyone else. We'll go with that. <laughs> Excuse me, huh? I, I, I gotta give off an evil laugh here. I'm gonna take off my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Honestly, it does. Every time I really get into it, I get goosebumps. I just feel so damn alive. <laughs> well, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save that for the evil geniuses out there. I am not an evil genius. I'm a galactic dominator. Farewell. <laughs>